The Duke's Agricultural Research Park will be situated on 28 acres of land at Duke's Estate, donated to the University of the West Indies by Charles and Vanessa Edgel. Construction of the St. Thomas facility and a 45-acre agriculture training institute earmarked for St. Lucie is being funded by a $34 million bilateral grant between the Barbados government and the People's Republic of China. Principal and Pro-Vice-Chancellor of the University of the West Indies Cathil Campus, Professor Clive Landis, explains that Jukes will focus on agricultural research and innovation. Already, the university has plans to set up a cannabis germplasm repository as the island works to build out its medicinal cannabis industry. Cathil Campus has already been granted a provisional cannabis research license, which allows it to undertake the necessary research at germline level to optimize gene expression for generation of new cannabis varietals for medicinal purposes. The UE Cato campus and the Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Nutritional Security will collaborate seamlessly on the phases of medicinal cannabis production from germline research, elucidation of new varietals, extension agriculture, purification, of medicinal cannabis products, quality control, and certification to bring to market. The research facility, which is expected to bolster the country's food security and food sovereignty, has the backing of the Barbados government, according to Prime Minister Mia Amor Motley. This is the country that led the world in research in cane breeding in the 19th century. This is the country that was responsible for the development of the grapefruit as a cross between the shallot and the orange. And it cannot be acceptable that having done all of that work, that we now at a time when technology is even more aggressively leading the way for research in agriculture, that we are not among those to be counted in the race. Agriculture Minister Indar Weir suggests the work done at the center will be vital to sound policy making. The improved quality of extension services is high on the ministry's translation agenda and will be best nurtured in research. The livestock industry in Barbados needs significant impetus if it is to only reach its full potential. This can be achieved or at least supported by careful and sound research focused on breeding techniques, animal genetics, and forage quality. And with the recent launch of the National Nutrition Policy in Schools, Education Minister Kay McConney expects it will help in the effort to get people eating healthier. The relevant linkages with agriculture must be made as we are able to make quality nutrition affordable, accessible and meaningful in the everyday lives of students. At the national level, we expect that this policy and the work we will continue to do with agriculture will indeed redound to the overall health of this country as we combat the high incidence of chronic non-communicable diseases. Construction of the facility, which will consist of 13 buildings, including a conference center and 12 acres of prime agricultural land, is being completed by Chinese company Shanghai Construction Group. Shurika Griffith, CBC News.